I think he's ready to have a, a chat with John Fitzgerald. Demeter, well done. Um, you look like a man of experience there. You, you handle the conditions very well and you care about playing for your country too, right? Yeah, thank you very much. First of all, thank you to all the people who came here, here to support us on 1st of December, all the people back home, to my team, Captain, uh, my family here. Um, yeah, um, I love those matches. That's what I'm practicing for. That's why I'm playing tennis for. Of course, it's a lot of pressure, but I enjoy it. And that's why I think I can get the best out of me. And of course, when we do play for our country, it's always something special, as you can see. And I'm really happy that I can get a, po get a point for my team, um, equalize the tie, and now uh, we have a chance to, to get the win. Did you find the conditions were a bit too warm? Because you look like you, look like you handled them very well, and your younger opponent maybe struggled a little bit. It wasn't too hot for you here, though. Uh, no, I came here 10 days ago uh, with the intentions to prepare really well and to get used to the conditions and the hot weather here in Australia. Um, when I came the first few days, I was struggling a lot because it was like 38, 39 degrees. And I said, oh my God, it's going to be tough. But then um, actually at the end that helped me because now it's not that hot and I'm really getting used to it. So uh, I think it was a good decision for me. Well, it's getting hotter at the end of the week, they tell us, so you'll be ready. But yeah. it must be good to have uh, this fella alongside you, giving you some advice and helping uh, with confidence. Actually, yeah. I think uh, when he's on the bench, I think I've only was lost one time <laughs> <laughs> out of six or seven matches. Mm. So uh, yeah, yeah, I feel really comfortable with him. Uh, he's so experienced and a great player and also watching him the days before gives me more confidence trying to learn from him, from his routines and of course uh, trying to follow his, uh, his tips during the match and as you can see everything worked out really well. Yeah, I think he knows what he's talking about, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Grigor, what did you advise him during the match and uh, you know him so well, um, he must be proud of the way he played today. Yeah, of course, um, I think first and I'm, I'm proud of just the, the way he, he composed himself I think throughout I think any match that I've seen him play, and especially in conditions like that, I always gonna favor him. So uh, I think that was uh, I think that was very important. I, I also thought at the beginning of the match, I haven't seen him play too 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 much, but I knew that I was like, man, whatever you do, try to extend <laughs> try to extend the rallies, stay in the point, grind him out, and and, and once the match goes there, like uh, all that favors him as well. And um, you know, it's been a I think it's been a great pleasure for me just to be to be to be on the side. It's uh, it's been also like a little bit extra duty. I'm not gonna lie on that. But um, I mean, as I said, everybody from the team has been trying to con contribute to the best way that they can. The crowd, you know, the the staff, the support. I mean, everybody has been supporting us. So it's it's been a it's been a great uh, great ride so f ride so far. And uh, I mean, they all listen. So that's that's also nice. So. He listened. Okay. Yeah, he did. He did a few times. <laughs> Well, you can't be a leader without some responsibility, mate. Um, uh, no, you've been a great combination. Well done. Um, the longer those rallies went on, the, the more you look like you're going to win, obviously. The mixed doubles, neither of you shaping up for the mixed? We'll see. We'll see who's going to come out soon. Okay. All right. Well, look, thanks for talking to us. Well done. And congratulations, Bulgaria. Great effort.